In this episode of the Media Store Thumbnail Viewer, we're going to be adding an on-click listener to the thumbnails. Now this is, pe this is pending to displaying the full image or playing videos. You need to add a click listener so when you click on one of the thumbnails, an event happens for us to do something else. So we're going to set up the on-click mechanism first. Okay, so we'll make a start now. Okay, so we need to go back into our media store adapter here. That's where we're going to add our on-click listener. And I'm going to create an interface that we're going to provide to the calling activity. So, make it public. Interface. And I'll give it a name, I'll call it on click thumb listener. And inside that I'm gonna add one method first and we'll call that on on click image I think. And it's gonna take an argument as a URI Mainly, this is this URI is going to hold the location of the. In this case, it's going to be the thumbnail image. So, we're going to provide that to the calling activity, which will be required for opening a full-size image in a new activity. Okay, so that's now done. Now let's create a member to represent that interface. I can make it private. Call the on click. Thumb listener, and I'll make that a member on click thumb. Okay, now we need to initialize that. Good place to do that is in the constructor. And there's a bug I spotted in my code. Just let me fix that up. I'll just make this activity. That's better. Okay, now we'll initialize our um, on-click thumb listener list on-click thumb listener. And we'll need to cast it first to a on-click thumb listener. And then just call the activity. Okay, that's now done because the um, actual activity, calling activity is going to have an uh, initialized version of this on-click thumb listener um, interface. Okay, we've now done that. Now I want to add a method which is going to extract the URI from the media store and then we can um, call this listener here to provide it to our calling activity. So I add a brand new member private. It's going to be void because we're just going to be actually calling the, um, the listener from here. Okay, and let me just say, it's going to get the, I suppose call it get on click URI, get URI from on clicking basically. And it's going to take an argument of the position of where it is in the adapter. Okay, so I'm going to need to check. There's a couple of things I want to deal with. Primary thing is, am I clicking on an image or am I clicking on a video? So I'm going to need to sort that out and provide um, interfaces for each, support for each, basically. And the other one is actually getting the URI. So there's a couple of things I want to get from the cursor. So I will sort it out doing the check to see if we're a um, image or video first. So I'm going to pinch some code from up here, from one of the older tutorials. Let me grab those top few lines there. 
And so the first thing, I'm getting a couple indexes here, and I don't need that one. But the first index I want is the media type index to sort out whether or not it's an image or a video that we're actually clicking on. And we'll move that to the position there, and I'll just complete the switch statement here. Okay, so that, this let me add some code in here just to do the check to see whether or not we're an image or a video. So I'll make a case statement, and it'll be a media store. Files, file columns, and do the check for the image first. I'll break that, and we'll do the similar. I'll just paste some more code here. And go down there and do the check for the video as well. Change that to video. And I normally like to just put a default in there as well. Okay, that's now in place. Okay, now we need to get index for the data which holds the location of our image. And I'm just going to copy up in this line here. And we can just paste it down there. So I've now got the data index for the um, uh, data column. And we can traverse down there with the media store move to position, as we've got here. And now we can process that and set up the listener to send the information back to the calling activity. Okay, so let's first of all, let's get a string representing the location of the data. I'll call it data string. And we'll call, need to call the cursor. That's not the cursor. Get string and provide it with the data index column. Okay, now we'll set up the URI and include the data string in that. I'll call it image URI equals, and we're going to call one of the URI methods, pass, and we need to provide this first to be a pendant in front of our address, and then we can pass the data string here. Okay, now we've got the actual proper URI representing the image that we would have clicked on the thumbnail. Now we can provide that back to the calling activity by calling our listener and calling the on click image URI and we'll provide it with the URI which should be the image URI as such. Okay that's now complete. Okay now the final step which if you haven't realized or not is actually adding the on click listener and we're going to do that from the view holder. So find the view holder class. Here it is here. I'm just going to implement a view on click listener. Now we have to implement the method for that, which is on click as such. Now I need to remove the static just so we can access our method we just set up before. Okay. So we've got that there. Now I need to set the onclick listener to this class, or to the image view itself. So provide the onclick listener to our image view. So we'll call it image view. And it's just a matter of set onclick listener, providing it to our image view, and setting up this as the context of the view holder class. Okay. Now finally, we'll actually implement the on click overridden method method for the listener. And it's just a matter of calling our method we created before, which was get on click URI. And to get the position with inside the adapter we provided with this get adapter position. So we're provided with that. Okay, that should complete the implementation from the adapter. Now we need to implement the listener inside the calling activity and then we'll complete its overridden method. So let's go to our calling activity, get your thumb viewer. Um, let's go to the top 
and inside here we're going to implement the listener from our adapter so media store adapter on click thumb listener now we'll have to implement the overridden method for that so implement methods so on click image yes there we are there with the URI notice which will don't know if you heard that or not Japanese fighter planes flying directly overhead but no drama okay so right now you notice that we've been provided with the image URI here that represents the location and storage of where our image exists okay so let's just put a do, do a bit of debugging here set up a toast just to supply just to display that location so toast and inside here let's just call image URI and we'll display the URI itself which gives us a method to string to help display that from within the toast okay that's that's the coding done so we want to click on a image thumbnail not a video thumbnail because we've filtered that out in the uh, adapter so we want to implement an image URI so when we click on it I'll click on the image thumbnail we'll see its location inside storage so we'll try running that Let's see what happens Let me record this so you can see what's going on. And I have to select an image here. So let's select this one. And as you can see, we've got the location pop up. I knew that the red headsets were um, headphones, were thumbnails. If I clicked on this one here, the one next to it, it's a video thumbnail, and we're not handling the click process for that just yet. So that, that, that proves it. So our um, listener for the thumbnail clicks has been implemented. The next following section to this is going to be actually displaying a full screen image in, a, um, in its own activity. Okay, so that completes this episode of the Media Store um, thumbnail image viewer. And so what we learned today is basically how we can use interfaces to provide... Um, on-click functionality back to the calling activity so we created a, a listener and then we set up another method just to extract the location in a form of a URI from the media store just for images themselves and fed that via the interface back to our calling activity where we capped it off with a toast just proving that we were supplying the right location for that particular thumbnail the following, the following tutorial to this one will be actually implementing a full screen image in a new activity. Anyway, if you want to get notified of the following tutorials to this series or any of the other videos that I'm working on and you haven't subscribed, remember, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And surrounding me is all my social media icons there. So if there. So if you want to get notified of um, news related to the channel every time I release an article, a video, source code up to GitHub or any other information related to the channel, check out those social media accounts there so you can follow me on there. Directly above me is a link to my website, probably the best place for watching these videos because not only do you get the video, you get the information of how you can get the code from GitHub and you also get brief descriptions of the code changes that were made as well. And if you've got any questions for me that aren't directly related to this tutorial in the form of a bug or a problem, um, you have to contact me at CodeMentor here. That's the place where I answer and respond to questions. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and bye for now.